Do you have a personal question of me? Do you have a question to ask about me and my relationship? I know a lot of people have been asking when my sweetheart is going to be on videos. We've been talking about it. She's going to join me in my private group called Midlife Love Mastery. By the way, there's a link below to check out the book or the group. We're going to start there. And hopefully by the end of the year or the first of the year, we'll join, have her join us on a couple YouTube videos as well. <laughs> Envy says, do you guys know that, do you guys see how clean cut Jonathan looks? Extra shiny, his beloved is a positive influence. <laughs> you know, it's interesting. You know, I don't know if I was, I don't know if maybe I had a little bit of cynicism before I met her. And what I mean to say is I was getting rather depressed with the, the, the current dating marketplace. I was getting rather frustrated with the current dating marketplace. Swipe dating just felt like such a, a big giant waste of time. And yet it was, a, it was an addictive process too. I can tell you that I was literally addicted to the process. The, addicted to the swiping. It was like the hamster getting the pellet. I was incredibly addicted to it. I was addicted to the attention. Many of you give me beautiful attention, which I've been addicted to that as well. But I literally reached a point that maybe in some of my videos, I was a bit bitter, cynical and such. Now I am judgmental about human beings who operate with a level of unconsciousness. Now I'm here to be the wake up call. So if you watch my videos enough, if you, if it's like the definition of insanity, if you're doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results, I'm going to yell and scream at you to snap out of it. Like Cher said to Nicolas Cage in the movie Moonstruck. So, um, but thank you so much for that. My beloved brings me so much joy. I can't begin to tell you. Um, and, and I feel like it's only going to keep getting better because trust is built over time. And when you know that, listen, can you absolutely trust someone 100%? Do I know that this person is going to be there for me? Do I know it? I feel really confident about it. It does suck, though, when you've invested your heart into someone and they pull the rug out from underneath you. They don't love you anymore, or they, they don't want to be in relationship with you anymore. That feels like the biggest betrayal of all. When someone says the word, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, and all of a sudden I want a divorce, or I want a breakup. I think the signs are there. We oftentimes refuse to see them. This is why I, I, I view relationships from a 40,000 foot level, but the ground level more from the human behavior perspective understanding the importance of emotional maturity as being the bedrock to a successful relationship. And a lot of times people bond in their traumas and find that they're attached to someone and there is love there. But unless that's a, a clean love and they genuinely, as I shared in this podcast, they make you a priority in their life. They genuinely make you a priority in your life. It's sad when they say all of a sudden, they don't want that with you anymore. And it becomes harder to trust again. That's one of the greatest challenges these days is being able to trust. You know what? I know I'm kind of a giddy kid and I'm piggybacking on what was shared, but I've dived into the deep end of the pool because you know what? I love the line from the movie Shawshank Redemption where Andy Dufresne says, Get busy living or get busy dying. Look at, I guess what? I dove into the deep end with her. And you know what? If it doesn't work out, I'm going to be fine. But I don't think that's going to happen. But if it does, what's most important, when you genuinely love yourself, that's why I wrote my book, What the Heck is Self-Love? A Journey of Personal Development, Self-Help, and Spiritual Work. There's a link below to get the book. When you genuinely love yourself, you're you're... It's like a vaccination to emotional chaos. You're better prepared to navigate the challenges of life when you say, you know what? I'm going to be okay no matter what. And yeah, I'm incredibly attached to this person. It would hurt and sting. But you know what? I've fallen down before and I'm going to get up again. 
because nothing is guaranteed. And if I've learned one thing after losing my son, you know, somebody can be there and they can be gone in a moment. And what we have to do as human beings, or at least this is my invitation for myself and my invitation for all of you, is to appreciate every moment and to continually express attention, affection, and appreciation, and most importantly, acceptance to those people that you're calling your boyfriend or girlfriend, because that builds those deep roots of trust, because nothing is guaranteed. But what you can do is savor every moment with a person when you're consciously co-creating a relationship together. Is this sinking in? Is this resonating? Please let me know. Please say, yes, Jonathan, that sinks in with me. Ah, thank you so much.